Buried under hundreds of cities in North America are thousands of miles of aging water tunnels that need inspection and repair. J.F. White, a Boston contracting company with 80 years of construction experience, has brought its diving division to the Oceanographic Research Pool at Texas A&M University. Working with a partnership of companies, they are continuing to develop new ways to inspect and repair these tunnels. Jim Clark is a veteran professional diver and manager of the division. We've come here to the uh, Texas A&M test tank to, for a period of two weeks to uh, bring our partner companies together, uh, build some camaraderie, and have one interval when we can all concentrate on what we've achieved and where we're going with this technology. We had a, an excellent team uh, before we came together here, but I think it's uh, essential that with all these participants being so busy that we set a, a, a time period aside that we could get together and concentrate on where we're going into the future. Well, right here we're testing a variety of different platforms uh, for tunnel inspection and repair. Uh, integrating our geographic information systems for reporting, sonar data, as well as trying out a variety of platforms such as the Deepworker Submersible. The uh, pilot of the Deepworker is Alberto Rodriguez from HDR Engineering. He was the consulting engineer for the job we did in Austin, Texas recently, where we used uh, fiber optics manufactured by DOER for very long tunnel penetrations. The whole idea of going into tunnels is really uh, kind of an interesting psychological one because really if you've got an inch to spare on either side, a good guidance system, you wouldn't know whether the tunnel was 100 feet in diameter or just the width that you need. So there's no problem with the, the size of the tunnel. Uh, the length of the tunnel, I guess the real psychological problem is what do you do if you can't get, if something happens, the sub is incapacitated, etc. And that's where all of the backup plans and contingencies come into it. And that's where we have to be very clever in, uh, in planning this sort of stuff. Although, you know, the working submarines of this sort have a, an exemplary safety record. Uh, they really are very reliable. They're, they're dumb beasts, and, uh, but like, like your automobile, uh, they take you there and back and usually quite reliably. Once in a while, they do break down, and then we have all sorts of, uh, of recovery measures available to us. Deep Worker 7 topside, proceed to the launch area, then thrust to the surface and blow your soft ballast. challenge of these long distance penetrations into tunnels is the extreme distance obviously between access points if there's ever any accident there's a, a long evacuation and we just have to be alert to uh, preempt any changes in the environment that could affect the safety of the people. The rebreather is a fully closed system that recirculates a diver's breathing gas rather than expelling it into the water. This allows much extended downtimes and depth independence so that a diver can dive very deep and stay very long with very little gas use. We're working in uh, long penetrations into uh, decent sized pipes. This is an excellent vehicle. Uh, again, it's easy to pilot. You you don't have to worry about your hands. You can focus on uh, maybe manipulating the camera system while you're driving along with your feet. Uh, the view is probably the best part about it. You'll be able to see all the pipe above you, with no problem. We've gotten together uh, at this time that we've set aside to integrate these technologies by actually practicing together. We're simulating the uh, first steps of advanced penetration, flying submersibles into pipes, actual pipes to simulate longer distance penetrations, integrating the sonar, testing the geographic information system, and doing uh, 
steps that will lead us into the future. Diving thousands of feet into a water-filled tunnel is dark, dirty, and difficult. But when you marry advanced technology with solid teamwork, you're on your way to a safe, cost-effective solution.